Some people will do anything for love. Determined to prove her devotion to her boyfriend Patrick Frazee, Crystal Lee Kenny tried to carry out not one, but three separate plots to kill his fiancée, Kelsey Barrett. When Kenny lost her nerve and Frazee carried out the heinous murder himself on Thanksgiving Day in 2018, Kenny drove 13 hours to clean up the crime scene, scrubbing blood from the walls. She then watched as Frazee lit Barrett's remains on fire at his Colorado ranch. To get justice for the beloved 29-year-old flight instructor and mother. Then District Attorney Dan May admitted he did a deal with the devil to secure Kenny's cooperation and put Frazee behind bars for good in a case so disturbing it left jurors in tears. This one had probably more twists and turns than any case I've ever seen, May said. This one had more emotion to it than almost any case I've seen. Even as a child, Barrett had been fascinated by the concept of flight. By high school, she was watching crop dusters from her family farm in Moses Lake, Washington, and dreaming of one day taking flight herself. Kelsey was a light, her uncle, Scott Morin, recalled. She lit up a room. She lit up your heart. After graduating from high school, Barrett set out to achieve her dream, enrolling in a flight program at a local community college. Barrett not only became a pilot herself, but soon got a job working as a flight instructor so she could share her passion with others. I think it was exciting. She was fascinated with it, Morin said. In 2015, another aspect of her life seemingly began to fall in place. Barrett met Frazee, a Colorado rancher and farrier, through an online dating site. Although he lived more than 1,100 miles away in Florissant, Colorado, a romance soon bloomed and Barrett moved to Colorado, where she got a new job at a flight school there. Not long after, the couple learned they were expecting a baby and in October of 2017, they welcomed their daughter, Kaylee. Although Barrett was living in a condo in Woodland Park and Frazee was living at his family ranch about 20 minutes away, the couple worked together to care for their young daughter. They got engaged and made plans for the future. But those plans came to a sudden halt. Barrett suddenly disappeared on November 22, 2018. She was last seen that Thanksgiving morning on surveillance footage at the grocery store with her young daughter. Her mom, Cheryl Barrett, reported her daughter missing after more than a week went by without any contact from her daughter. It's just not in her character to just take off and be gone, a worried Cheryl insisted at the time. Frazee told investigators he hadn't seen his fiance since Thanksgiving Day when he picked up their daughter. He claimed that not long after that, she called him on the phone and broke up with him, continuing to hash out details of their breakup via text message in the days that followed. On November 25th, around 5.13 p.m. Barrett's phone pinged miles away in Gooding, Idaho, before going quiet, a surprising detail that left authorities perplexed. Initially, authorities had to consider whether the young mom had simply gotten overwhelmed and walked away from her life. But when Barrett's brother discovered a blood smear on the toilet in her condo, it became all too obvious that she had likely met a much darker fate. Crime scene analysts used a blood visualizing agent in the bathroom and discovered someone had cleaned up the room, which had been covered in blood. Investigators with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation took a close look at Frazee's phone and found that he had recently been in contact with a woman living in Idaho. Not far from where Barrett's phone last pinged. The woman, Crystal Lee Kenny, was a former rodeo queen who worked as a senior nurse at a local hospital and had two young children. We knew that she had a family, that was about it, CBI agent Greg Slater recalled. She didn't have a criminal history or anything like that. CBI agent John Grusing made an initial call to Kenny, who was in Las Vegas at the time for a rodeo event with friends. Kenny initially claimed she didn't know who Barrett was and denied knowing Frazee, until Grusing pointed out that their phone records told a different story. Then, she claimed she had made the 13-hour drive to Colorado on Thanksgiving Day to talk with Frazee about a horse they owned together. But that he told her he didn't think it was a good time to sell the horse and she returned home. 
Believing she was lying, investigators went to speak to the divorced mom of two in person at her home in Idaho. While she didn't reveal any new details, Kenny got herself a lawyer and came to authorities three weeks after Barrett disappeared with a shocking story. Kenny claimed she had been having an on-again, off-again relationship with Frazee since 2006. Investigators say she believed he was her first true love and she craved his approval, but that Frazee initially didn't reciprocate her strong feelings and the romance fizzled out. But by 2018, the pair had reconnected and started an affair. Kenny said she initially had no idea Frazee was engaged to another woman, whom he shared a child with. When she found out, he plied her with false stories about Barrett being an alcoholic and abusive mother. He started telling Crystal that Kelsey was an abusive mom, that he had people watching Kelsey and that he was concerned that Kelsey was going to hurt the baby, if not worse, Grusing said. Authorities say that's how Frazee convinced Kenny to agree to help him get rid of Barrett. The first plan was for Kenny, a nurse, to lace Barrett's favorite Starbucks coffee drink with prescription drugs. Kenny knocked on Barrett's door in September of 2018 pretending to be a neighbor and offering her the drink. Kelsey took the drink, but must have never drank it. When the plot failed, Frazee was enraged and instructed Kenny to return to Barrett's townhouse with a metal pipe. He told her to use the pipe to beat Kelsey in the back of the head, but after driving to the location, Kenny heard a dog barking, got spooked and left. In a third attempt, Frazee instructed Kenny to take a baseball bat to the townhouse and attack Barrett. But once again, while sitting outside Barrett's house waiting, she saw a police car drive by and decided to abort the plan. She was madly in love with Patrick and that overruled all her common sense and her judgment, Grusing said of Kenny's willingness to attempt to carry out the horrific crime. Kenny would later testify in court that Frazee, seemingly fed up with the failed attempts, took it upon himself to get rid of Barrett. She testified that on that Thanksgiving, Frazee convinced Barrett to play a game where she tried to guess the scent of different candles. After tying a sweater around her eyes as a makeshift blindfold, Frazee struck his unsuspecting fiancé in the head with a bat, while their young daughter was still in the house. A blood spatter expert would later testify in court that Frazee beat her with the bat 10 to 15 times. After the brutal attack, Frazee called Kenny and demanded she come and clean up the crime scene. The call basically is, you need to come now, you have a mess to clean up, Grusing said. Kenny gathered some cleaning supplies, a coverall outfit she usually wore at the hospital to prevent blood-borne pathogens, booties, a hairnet box of gloves and some bleach and made the 13-hour trek back to Colorado. Once there, she headed to Barrett's condo and stumbled on a horrific sight. When I first walked in, I saw, um, blood all over the floor, she told investigators of her actions, as seen a chilling video. I saw blood up the wall. Saw blood on this wall. Kenny gathered all the blood-splattered items she didn't think she'd be able to clean, like Kaylee's blood-soaked stuffed animals, in a trash bag and then set to work scrubbing the home clean. As she cleaned, she found a human tooth on the floor. Kenny told authorities that although she agreed to help Frazee, she purposely left some blood spots behind for authorities to find later. After cleaning the townhome, she headed to Frazee's ranch where she watched him burn Kelsey's body in a black plastic tote. I also threw in all the clothing that I was wearing, plus a pair of shoes that I had been wearing, Kenny told investigators. Kenny said she returned home to Idaho, taking Barrett's phone with her. She used the phone to send text messages to Frazee and Barrett's employer in an attempt to mislead investigators before destroying it. Kenny agreed to testify against her one-time lover as part of a deal with prosecutors that allowed her to plead guilty only to tampering with evidence. May called it doing a deal with the devil. I'm not proud of it, he told Dateline, secrets uncovered. I'm not telling you it's justice for Crystal Lee. It's not justice for Crystal Lee, but it got justice for Kelsey in the end. A month after Kelsey disappeared, 
Frazee was arrested and charged with first-degree murder, solicitation to commit murder and tampering with a deceased body. His sensational trial began a year later. Kenny served as the prosecutor's key witness as authorities also presented phone records. Surveillance footage and a jailhouse snitch who testified that Frazee wrote him notes behind bars asking him to take out other key witnesses from the case, including Kenny and Barrett's mom Cheryl. They all need to disappear, he wrote in one note. It took the jury just three hours of deliberations to convict Frazee on all the charges against him. He's currently serving out a life sentence plus 156 years behind bars. Kenny, who was originally sentenced to three years, had her sentence reduced to 18 months in 2021. She was released from prison later that year. Kelsey's daughter Kaylee is now being raised by her maternal grandparents.